Puerto Ricans living in Puerto Rico get treated the worst in, in the United States. And you and we are about that, fixing that issue. And that's why we need your help. Call, get your friend, organize yourself, come up with your organization, put some money together, whatever it takes, because that's what we're gonna have to need. Businesses that are the livelihood of communities have been swept away and lives have been changed forever. We've heard the statistics. There are millions without access to clean water, without the ability to communicate with their families, and without electricity. There are over 3.4 million American citizens on the island that have been impacted. I'm a physician, so the medical crisis in Puerto Rico is a hugely, hugely upsetting to me, and it's a huge public health crisis that's going on. So uh, folks who are in their houses need to be taken to the hospitals if they have medical need, and, and of course, basic things, food and water. There are people that are getting sick in Puerto Rico drinking water from the streams. We're having issues that are major public health issues that you see in third world countries now happening in Puerto Rico, which never used to happen. This is all preventable. These are preventable deaths and it needs to stop. Otherwise, the casualty numbers is gonna keep going up. This is the time for Democrats and Republicans to unite, for all Puerto Ricans to come together to ask Congress to act. I'm tired of the politics. People have no time for politics. This is the time to talk about what the Congress is going to do to help Puerto Rico. If we don't repeal or at least uh, get a break from the Jones Act, we're not going to be able to recover Puerto Rico because everything, everything that we need to build Puerto Rico, to rebuild Puerto Rico, is going to be more expensive. La primera parte de un paquete. Ver la generosidad de miles de puertorriqueños y de miles de ciudadanos americanos aquí. It never should have been a Jones Act, but for God's sakes, Puerto Rico's in crisis. Let's get rid of it now, not just temporarily, but permanently. There's no need for it. You can ship goods to every part of this country without going through the Jones Act. Only Puerto Rico and, of course, the other territories have to deal with that. We want dignity, isn't that correct? We want people to actually act rather than just say that they're helping out. We know what's happening on the island. And so I know a lot of you have come here today to help put together a Marshall-style plan, a plan like how we built, rebuilt Europe. American citizens deserve just as much, if not better. Do you agree with me? Let me hear you. So I'm so excited that you're here today, but we need you to continue the pressure. Because if we stick together, we could get what we need. But right now, it's falling woefully short. Unidos por Puerto Rico. Let me hear you. Unidos por Puerto Rico. Let me hear you. One more time. With the passion in the Isla. Let me hear you. Por Puerto Rico. Wepa.